Hello there. How are you? Havid sek adu. 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 Welcome back to our stream of directs. It's of Corbin. I'm Julie Andrews. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who supports us on Patreon. Follow our Fisher Twitter account. Subscribe if you haven't hit the like button. Yeah. That no. was my John Wick impersonation. No. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm back. Remember that? I don't know. <laughs> oh, the great actor, Keanu Reeves. It's a dog. Oh, for any criticism anybody has of his acting, it immediately goes right over there in the corner and takes a nice little nap when you watch what he can do in an action film. What can he do? It's There's no one in cinema anywhere in the world that is a better commander of a firearm in real life, like who has mastery over firearms. Keanu is king. Without question. You seen what he can do in real life footage of what that guy, everything John Wick does with those firearms, Keanu does with real firearms. He does not shoot people in the face. Every day. You know who he shoots in the face? Uppity background actors, as you should. Um, I guess. Today, uh, we have a video. This is Amir Khan on why we can't make a film like Inception. So this is from many, many years ago. What? I'm guessing it's he is talking in this clip about, unless the title is misleading, of course. Which has happened once yes. before. Uh, why India, I guess, can't make a film like Inception. So this well, obviously came out around the time that Inception came is out. Is he throwing down the proverbial gauntlet, or is he really minimizing the potential of India with that statement? I want to know! I guess we'll find out in the clip. Oh, how dare he? I wouldn't ask this question of anyone else, but I'd like to know what you think, really. You know, we go into a collective gasp over a film like Inception. It's a film that challenges its audience. It's a film that almost forces you to keep up with the film. Mm -hmm. In contrary, Bollywood tends to dumb down mm. to reach out. Words like mindless entertainers, phrases like you have to leave your brains behind when you go to watch this film are very commonly used. Will we ever make a film like Inception? Uh, first of all, I want to say uh, that I think Hollywood is far ahead of the rest of the world. Certainly India. Let me not comment about the rest of the world. How long ago was this? Ten years. Hollywood okay. is far ahead of India in its ability to tell stories well. Mm. And in its... Uh, in its freedom to pick topics which are bizarre sometimes and mm. you know you know unimaginable topics is what they pick up right dream within a dream within a dream True. And, you know how to convey that tell that to the malayalam industry and, though you know, the, yeah <laughs> now make them believe that this right. is actually happening so this fantasy of larger than life storytelling mm. is something that i believe hollywood does really well sure um i think technically and even in their headspace, mm. they're far ahead of us. They're able to do things that, they're able to do anything that they imagine. Right. And we are not able to imagine only. Correct. So first we have to imagine, we have to be free enough to imagine things. Right. You also have to have the money for it as well. And which are, you know, and then we can try and get there to execute it. Sure. So when I watch films like Inception, or you watch a film like, you know, so many of them, that you, you feel that, wow, you know, I, I really as an audience sit back and I say, Phew, we have a long way to go before we catch up with them. Sure. That's the truth. That's what I believe. So, so having said that, I also believe that you must understand that we, in our circumstances, are making films for our audiences. Mm -hmm. And very that important. is also a truth. Yeah, very right. important. Uh, you know, I, 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 I would also want to say that there are a lot of films made in Hollywood hmm. which are also dumbed down of course yes and they are you know for uh, yes you know so that happens everywhere right. I think that's there true in, in Hollywood that's true over here as well sure and the fact is that at the end of the day we have a large and healthy audience of our own of our own right and our primary responsibility and our excitement at least mine hmm. emotionally as well 
is to reach out to that audience. Right. So that's what I enjoy doing. Um, and within that, I think that. Let me not speak about others, but within that, I think when I come across topics which are challenging, at least in our circumstances, I think right. a film like People Live or a film like Dhobi Ghat or a film like Tari Zameen Par are not your general fare of sure. mainstream cinema. Lagan wasn't. So all of these films, Rangde in its screenplay jumps, you know, right. back and it's forth in time. Yes. Uh, it's not linear in its storytelling. Mm. A lot of people before the release said, "Will people understand?" You know. Right. So all of that happened, but I think that. Uh, I think that we are taking baby steps towards that, but the key to that, I think, is that we need to be more free right. as creative people in our heads to imagine. You know, it's like that share of uh, I forget the poet's name. Yeah. Uh, he's a Hindi poet. Anyway, his share is that who says that the sky cannot be divided in the sky? एक पत्थर तो तबीयत से उछाल के देखो यारो सो फील फ्री टू यू नो इमेजिन एंड एम यू नो हायर देन यू इमेजिन दैट पीपल इमेजिन दैट यू कैन दैट इज वन एंड टू आई थिंक दैट वी डोंट गिव इनफ वैल्यू टू आर राइटिंग वी डोंट गिव इनफ वैल्यू टू आर राइटर्स श्योर एंड आई थिंक दैट्स अ बिग थिंग दैट वी नीड टू लुक एट एज अ फिल्म इंडस्ट्री वी नीड टू गिव मच मोर वैल्यू in every way okay emotionally creatively and economically sure we need to give much more value to our writers and to the craft of writing okay for us to really have great scripts being written and you know i believe that okay mm very interesting yeah because obviously it was 10 plus years ago it was probably whenever inception came out so that's Probably around ten years. Oh ago. no, longer than that. Longer than that, you think? When Inception came out, so this film might be even older. This clip might be even um, older than that. Yeah, no, Inception. You'll be, I, you're going to be shocked at when Inception came out. Uh, it, it, and that's not that long ago. It's 2010, so it's 13 years. 13 ago. years ago. Yeah. So this is probably around that time. Right. Is when this clip came out, and probably why they're talking about Inception yeah. in this clip. Well, it was a and unbelievable. I think in 13 years, film. you could argue India has made. Enormous oh. strides. I mean, just obviously with what came out last year, RRR. Has, yeah, it just could have very well been nominated for an Oscar as the entire film if it would have been sent. Yeah. Um, and I, I think it deserved a Best Picture nom uh, in the Best Picture category. Um, but in terms of VFX alone, just in terms of VFX, right? But also in terms of like what audiences expect now. Yeah. In I think in India, I think you've seen even though. Um, it has to be at a certain level. They they don't just go for stars, anymore. right? Right. Um, they obviously. Well, I think India wants grandeur in their scale in terms of if they're going to support it at the box office. Yeah, that's for sure. But also, I think their expectations for the writing has changed from 13 years ago. It has, and and I I would have to go back and look and make sure about the timing of certain films, but they. India, if you're making a comparison to Inception, that's a very particular kind of film, mm -hmm. and one of the things it's Nolan, yeah. it is. It's Christopher Nolan, and it's 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 very uh, psychological. Yeah. So, like, I, I'm not totally convinced that India was so far behind. They were with CGI and have come right up to speed. But when we first started reacting to some things, the initial movies we saw right out the gate. One of the reasons we like them so much is because the screenwriting was so good. I mean, Gully Boy is good because Gully Boy is is a very well written, well directed, and well acted film. But granted, that was three years ago, right? But then we jumped into some of the films that were a little bit older. And if you really want to, I mean, so what? Inception was 2010. Gangs of Wasabur was 2012. Mm. Uh, pretty damn good writing. Mm. So, but, Grant, but comparatively, I would say absolutely. There's I think been this they, growth and progression. I think he's also talking about not only obviously the complexity of the story, but how it did at the box office. Yeah. So, and, like Gangs of Wasper, exactly. I, I can almost guarantee wasn't like a financial success. No, it became more of a cult thing, and people realized how great it was. Um, as opposed to Inception, one of the biggest films of all time. Exactly, and and, and a, a huge, huge difference. Very different, different, very different kind of scale, of particularly 
for Indian cinema, a huge difference between Indian cinema, Hindi cinema in particular, and Hollywood and a lot of the international community is when he mentioned the audience. Back then, 10 years ago, the thought of making some changes to the storytelling is a tectonic plate shift to do to the Indian audience based on decades of conditioning and expectation mm -hmm. of what they're accustomed to. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons you could make Inception here and have it be so well received is because we already had decades of filmmaking mm -hmm. that allowed you to tell stories like that mm -hmm. versus you're now taking this giant monolith and trying to make it shift a bit and not knee jerk your audience yeah, of course you're going to be a little bit. They're they're still trying to to get past yeah. that. But granted, I think he also said very true. India still and has always made films for their audience. Yeah, not to expand into the West. No, which are ours. <laughs> it didn't intend to have the impact on the West that it had. They, he, he said repeatedly, I never expected the West to relate to my film at right. all. I didn't think they could, actually, is I think what he right. said. Right, no. Uh, it just, obviously, the West is very open, especially uh, the film community is very open to different cultures uh, and different styles of filmmaking, and it was very different to what a lot of people here were accustomed to, yes. especially in terms of the action uh, part of the film um, and how they told their stories. Yeah. Um, and so I think one of the things that has improved greatly is the VFX and the fact oh, that they questionably because I think a lot of people can accept different styles of storytelling, Korean, Chinese, Japanese, yes, India. Uh, they can accept different time and different cultures. A lot of times, a lot of that will is something for especially people in the West to overlook is bad VFX mm -hmm. is because it takes you out immediately because our VFX have been top-notch for so long decades now yeah. really it's it's been because obviously we put millions upon millions of dollars in mm. um but the fact that they don't have to do that now no but i think the storytelling in india is equal i mean you look at the malayalam uh. industry and it it's probably farther along honestly especially the malayalam industry oh my goodness but even last year what you had in uh, the hindi industry and in, um what was it kala yeah it, that's a very complex story very complex story you want to talk about storytelling just see ljp's new movie man yeah right that is that's nolan level yeah uh a I agree. storytelling i agree um but I, I think one of the big challenges that the, that is current right now and it's it's always that way for me is <sighs> artists just don't fixate on box office because because no. because give you an analogy at its core theater whether it's live theater or movie theater theater is storytelling yeah, yeah, yeah. There's all kinds of stories to tell, and storytelling at its core is teaching. If you have kids coming to your school and your primary concern is how much money you're making at the school versus the kind of education you're giving to the kids, you've missed the purpose of your educating them. And that's how I feel about people who fixate on box office so yeah. much. Yes, you need money to run your school. You need money for the industry, but your primary thought should be, what are the things I'm giving? And not everybody's gonna be doing the same thing. You will have, for example, when I taught in a school, I taught theater, but I also taught rhetoric. Occasionally I taught some history. I would have never been found anywhere near math classes, but you need them. So there are filmmakers who make the math classes. There are filmmakers who make the history classes. There are filmmakers who make the gym class. They're all needed, but the purpose of that is to be organic and telling the stories that you want to tell because they're important to the human experience, not just, hey, let's offer a class that's going to get us more students and make us a lot of money because then the artistry suffers. Disney. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, it's not. Uh, I mean, they're in yeah, that category right now. They are, and it's why they're making cuts. Even though they make billions of dollars, they're making a lot of cuts right now. Yeah, yeah. When you make subpar stuff, and yeah. just expect people to get in, get in the seats. No, and you just expect every movie you make, you're going to get an Oscar. No, it's not not happening. And people aren't just going to come. The reason they were so good is because at the core of Disney films has always been story. I'm especially talking about Marvel, right? Yeah. Now. Oh yeah. And Marvel's lost their mind. And <laughs> what they're doing right now yeah but even star wars obviously what they've watered it down to. yeah 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 um anyways uh, uh very interesting yeah always, i'd love uh, to know what he thinks now yeah. i bet his thoughts are very different about indian cinema than they were a decade ago as far as keeping up I with think hollywood similar in some ways 
and different in other ways. I think he would probably echo what we've said, but I think he also, especially with how what happened with Lao Sing Chada, in terms of what audiences are expecting now. Yeah, but that that is just the audience aspect of it. When it comes to the filmmaking, when it comes to the writing, the acting, the special effects, there's Indian cinema and American cinema are equal. Especially Malayalam cinema. There's, there's, there's no one's ahead of each other at this point. I mean, Malayalam might be ahead of everyone, honestly. <laughs> They're just so good. And one of my favorite part about Malayalam is they just don't care. They're like, yeah, this is what I'm going to make and you're going to watch yeah. it, aren't you? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I am. You're exactly. right. <laughs> yep. Anyways, uh, fantastic, very intriguing. This is this is stuff that you could make a whole podcast. Yeah, of, you really could. Uh, of discussion about. Um, anyways, let us know what you thought about it and your opinions down below. Just